So if I was click the button, it would say hello. But then you could do it, copy this again and write um, something else. Maybe you need it enabled or disabled. Let's say it's disabled. Uh, now you can see that I'm just over and over using this button again. Button one and so forth. Back color equals, and then I could put whatever I wanted there. Um, but instead, we could use a with statement here. And yes, when you're using a with statement, it does take up less uh, memory, I believe, and process because it's already uh, referenced with the control. Um, so we can go ahead and put dot caption equals. Um, what did I say it was? I cannot remember. I think it was hello. Okay, so then dot enable equals false. Now you can see that I'm using this with statement. And of course, you would tab and there you go now you can have other widths inside as well with UDD basketball but just remember that it's almost like the if in statements um, I would tab and usually when you start something like another width here um, there's one up here and then one here. You should have some kind of note here saying why you're doing this. Um, so maybe just using basketball information. Um, but you want to explain why. It makes it more helpful when you come back to check it or someone else using your, your code. Maybe you were to sell a program or something. But um, So you could continue this. Uh, but you have to have an end if, or end with, excuse me. So we'll go ahead and delete this. If you really to get this down very well, you're going to have to practice with it by yourself for a lot. Um, all these controls have so many different methods, and there's so much to know. It's it's just ridiculous. I think even any professional programmer is going to say, "Well, I'm only so good, and there's so much to learn still." Uh, so let's go ahead and continue with this here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and say the air pressure is. Um, I'm not sure what air pressure would really be. So I'm just going to put a number. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, that's a double, so I had to have a decimal there. N not necessarily, but you, you could. Um, let's go ahead and now use the integer. And we're going to equal to 1, because that's what color we were saying. It was orange um, for us. If it ever equaled 1, that means the ball was orange. And since we're setting it equal to 1, that means it must be orange for us. Um, so we're going to go down here. Okay, so that's how you use the with statement, um, and you could use an if statement to check that just as well with the with in it. Uh, so go ahead and use that here. If um, let's say UTB basketball. Dot. Now notice I don't have the if statement here, so I'd put the if within it. Let's go ahead and do that, but. Let's have it equals one first, then do it. If int integer equals one, then end if. Message box, the ball is orange. And of course, that's going to work. Okay, so we we'll go over what else we have to go over here. Um, select case. Select so case is very helpful. Um, let's say that you don't know what this air pressure is going to be. It could be so many different. At different values. With with a select case, you don't need so many if and this um, and ifs. So we're going to use here a select case statement. Show you. You start with select case, and then the variable that you're trying to check. Usually this is a string. Um, it could be values though. It doesn't matter. Uh, so let's go ahead and say basket ball dot int integer end select now in here I would use tabs again and dents go case if it's equal to one it's orange message box orange yes but we could do case else message box red or we could even use commas say if it's one or two then it's orange or we can even say 3, 2, 
5, I believe. No, you can't do it that way. 3, 2, 5. There you go. And that will show um, as coming out as orange. Um, so it's very helpful. I'm going to go ahead and uh, conclude this tutorial just because I can't have them too long and I have to upload each one. But um, just go over it again and uh, hopefully that what I'm showing you is going to make you a lot better than than what you already know. If you already know these things, then you don't really need to watch this stuff. Just I'm just doing it for other people. Anyways, thanks again and hope to see you soon.